Hey class, it's Professor Fowler, and this is a video to review how to use the E6B flight computer to calculate estimated time en route and fuel burn or fuel used. As you can see, uh, this is the, the exercise that I gave out in class, and the first one gives us our ground speed and distance and asks us to figure out what our estimated time en route is. Uh, the second one gives us our fuel burn per hour the estimated time and route, and then asks us to figure out how much fuel we will use in that time. So the important thing to remember about the E6B is that the inside scale is always time. So you look for time on the inside scale. Everything else is shown on the outside scale. So gallons used is on the outside scale. Uh, distance traveled is on the outside scale. So if there's anything important to remember about the E6B flight computer, that it is time is on the inside, everything else is on the outside. So let's take a look at this first problem. They give us a ground speed of 120 knots and a distance of 25 nautical miles, and they're asking us to calculate the estimated time en route. Now we uh, need to calculate our ground speed using the other side of the E6B computer, but that's in another video. Um, so we'll be going over that in another video. But again, let's just start with 120 knot, uh, knots. 120 knots for ground speed means that we will travel 120 nautical miles in 60 minutes. So we line up the 60 on the inside scale with 120. Unfortunately, we don't have 120 out here, so we have to improvise. We'll use 12 instead, 1, 2. So we line up the 60 minutes with 1, 2, and then the problem is uh, to figure out how many minutes it's going to take us to travel 25 nautical miles. Well, as I said before, nautical miles is on the outside, so we look for 25 on the outside scale, and we look for time on the inside scale, and it looks like it's going to take us 12 and a half minutes to travel 25 nautical miles at a ground speed of 120 knots. So that's pretty simple. Now let's look at the fuel burn. This first problem uh, says that we will burn 10 gallons per hour and it's asking us to figure out how many gallons we're going to use in 30 minutes. So we take, again, we take the time on the inside, 60 minutes, and we line it up with 10 gallons because that's our estimated fuel burn, 10 gallons in one hour. Now we need to figure out how many gallons we're going to burn in 30 minutes. So we, again, we look for time on the inside, 30 minutes, and this says we're going to burn 50 gallons in 30 minutes. But wait a minute, we're only going to burn 10 gallons in one hour. So the answer is 5 gallons, okay? Because we only have a limited number of choice uh, for numbers on the outside scale, we have to improvise. So this tells us in 30 minutes, we're going to burn five gallons. And it's as simple as that. 